Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have a very quick troubleshooting tutorial for you. This is a Xiaomi Outdoor Security Magnetic Mount Camera and this small camera is very inexpensive but it has a lot of problems and Xiaomi has not fixed the problems until now. The main problem is it cannot play back the videos that it has recorded into the SD card in the motion detection mode. I'll show you what is the problem. So if you go to your Mi Home app and open the camera and if you go to playback, here you can see that it is not able to play back all the recorded videos this is the motion detection mode but it cannot play back any of those videos and it will say that it cannot find the files so this is a big problem and the surveillance is also not reliable for motion detection because it is connected to the chinese server and let's check the firmware version the current version of my camera is the latest one that is the 112 this is the latest version there is a partial fix for this problem the fix is to make the camera record 24 hours that means that it should record all the time instead of just recording during the motion detection so for doing that go to your manage storage and go to your sd card status and here you can see that i have set to only record when motion detected so instead of that just go and click always record and you can format the sd card to get rid of the previous files so now it has formatted successfully now let's check whether it can play back the videos so go to playback go to all playback videos and check the time and let's check the previous ones you can see that you can play back the videos so that is good but if your current firmware or the latest firmware is not able to play back even in the always record mode, I'll show you how to downgrade the firmware soon. But if you can play back with the current firmware, then you don't need to downgrade. So that is one thing I wanted to show you. Another thing is you can now connect this camera to any server near you. That means it can be connected to the European server, the American server or the Southeast Asian server. So I'll show you how to do that. The surveillance, the home surveillance should work better after connecting it to a server near your location. So that is good because this camera cannot play back the videos in, during the motion detection mode so at least the surveillance should be better when you connect it to a server near to your location now you can delete the camera from the mi home app that is the chinese server you can see currently the region is chinese mainland so you can delete the camera from the chinese mainland server tap on the camera and then you can delete so once you have deleted it will tell you something in chinese so now it has been deleted so now go to a server near you currently it was set to chinese mainland because previously it was able to connect only to the chinese server now it can be connected to any server near your location in my case i'll select my location and you have to re-login now after logging into a server near your location go to add and it should show up the camera and you can connect to this camera scan the qr code now the scan is completed and go next now the installation is completed let's get started so now the camera has been connected to a server currently this is the southeast asian server now the playback should also work because currently it's set to the always record mode let's check the sd card so currently it is set to the always record mode so that's why you can play back but if you set it to only record mode even in the new server you will not be able to play back for that you have to set the surveillance assistant so set the surveillance assistant you can also select to get notifications and you can get the surveillance videos here as you can see it has recorded surveillance videos of nine seconds and since this is connected to a server near to my location the notification or the surveillance recording will also be better and currently there are no firmware updates even in the new server so there is the partial solution for the problems that this camera faces one is the surveillance issue and the one is the playback issue but if your current firmware still has problem with the playback of the always record mode then you have to downgrade the firmware so in order to do that you need a computer with a micro sd card reader first turn off this camera so now the camera is off and you also need a sim ejector tool like this remove the micro sd card and you can get your computer and plug in the micro sd card to your computer and you have to download the firmware from the Google Drive link that I have given in my video description. Extract the compressed folder and get the bin file and go to this PC and right click on the micro SD card and format it. You have to format it as a FAT32 and that's it. Once your format is complete, open the micro SD and put the bin file here. Eject the micro SD card and now you can remove the micro SD card and install it back to your camera. Press the reset button before you power on the camera. So press the reset button using the sim ejector tool. While you press the reset button, you turn on the camera and keep it pressed until the indicator light turns white. After that, it will downgrade the firmware and wait for it to turn blue. Now it's solid blue, so we can access it from the new home app. Let's check the firmware version. So go to the camera and go to general settings and firmware updates. So currently the firmware is uh, 105 the previous firmware was 112 so now it has been downgraded 
and then you can go to manage storage and set it to always record mode now you can check whether you can play back the videos that it has recorded go to your recordings and you can see that it has recorded some of the videos and you can play back the videos so that was the fix for this camera and it is a temporary fix and you cannot play back the videos during the motion detection mode we have been waiting for xiaomi to fix this issue and every time it releases a new firmware it is still not fixed i don't know why and i hope xiaomi fixes it very soon but at least it has added this camera in other servers so those are the things i wanted to share with you today if you have any problems please leave a comment below and i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible i hope you like the video please support my patreon campaign and uh, i'll try to get more troubleshooting videos in the future Future. thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time